Talking of investing in your future, they say that one is born every minute, but of the 33,000 registered midwives in the UK, only 132 of them are male, and in Scotland, there's just three, with just one man delivering at home. Marcel Maxwell went to meet the man flying the flag for male midwifery. If you asked me to choose the perfect midwife for this baby, I'd have said someone kind, patient, good at quelling nerves. But I'd never thought of a man. Meet David Cunningham. David is currently the only practicing community male midwife in Scotland. And he's been helping women to deliver babies for the past 25 years. That's it, I can hear that. That's it moving now. Look it up. Over the years, David's delivered hundreds of babies. What was your husband's reaction? to your midwife being a man. Was he a bit like, what? You're going to have a guy. It's pretty intimate. I think, I think we both were a bit like that, really. My first midwife that I had didn't have children. In some respects, there was absolutely no difference because she'd never been through the process either. Have you ever been mistaken for somebody else? Yeah. Who have you been, have you been mistaken for? Well, there was one time when one of the girls' mums thought it was a gas man coming to Demeter. Yeah. They, they, don't, they don't know who you are at all sometimes. And then what did she say when you said, no, no, I'm the midwife? Oh, right. Right. It's a total shot in, in their face as well. Shows like Call the Midwife mean the profession is in the spotlight as perhaps never before. But men make up a tiny minority of midwives. Men were all that I'd become advised about 25, I think, even 30 years ago, probably. Um, that was it. Mm, so you went to train as a nurse. Yeah. And while you were training as a nurse, mm. you loved midwifery. Well, midwifery did appeal to me that you were dealing with mainly normal, healthy women, if you like. And I just got interested. It was just something different, I suppose, at that time. Caroline had a daughter nearly three weeks ago called Isla. This is her firstborn. Your breasts fill before a feed. Yes. You know, you feel that you're ready for feed as well, and you feel them actually get empty after that. Definitely. As well. Okay, well, we'll have a wee check just now, and I'll get the scales. You've got that wee push button from your car and the scales. Sometimes you open the door and it's not always happy mums. No, I think it's just if you have something and mums who be up all night and feeding and they feel at the end of their terror, but you know, they, they have come to the door and have just burst into tears. I think sometimes mums actually feel inadequate sometimes, you know, especially with breastfeeding, I think, they think they're not doing it right, but in fact, when you sit down, they're doing a real, real good job. So you tell David as much as you tell Mark. Yeah. Yeah. Probably more. <laughs> <laughs> but despite his day job, David's still very much a man's man after work. You know, I like to go to the, the pub with my mates for a drink out with my wife at the weekend with friends and things and I don't do anything different or I go to train at night, you know, my other friends as well. And um, I don't do anything different actually, I don't think differently but I don't know, I just, when I go to work I switch on and, you know, when I, when I go to work I, I feel really protected towards the people I look after. Uh, it's only, I think, your own personal inhibitions that stop you from feeling you would get the same support and service from a male midwife. Um, but certainly David's shown me um, that male midwives are equally as uh, effective and supportive as, as female ones, definitely. Aww. Aww.